Hi, it's Susan with Inner Wisdom Healing Arts. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. I am sharing an old recording of a quantum healing hypnosis session that I did when I was actually working on my level one certification. Um, so uh, as a practitioner, it's uh, I can uh, listen to it and um, uh, know that I've come a long way. But, you know, it's still an interesting session um, and she she got a lot out of it, so I wanted to share it. Um, she visits uh, two past lives in this recording that I'm sharing. Um, and then she goes on to talk to her higher self about um, her ADHD and how it's a gift. Um, uh, she talks about her uh, her anger and her frustrations that she's having. Um, just the, just the, her whole experience in in this humanity. The frustration of uh, living in this human form. You know, sometimes it's uh, knowing what we know on a spiritual level and then being able to, um, you know, bring it to fruition with the, the physical human challenges that we face. Um, so I really, I loved this session for the realness of it. Um, she talks about her feelings of unworthiness with and which again is really um you know it's a common human challenge that a lot of us face i, I honestly i really want to say all of us face on some level um for us to acknowledge our worthiness um she talks about uh, uh being an empath and how that's a gift um, and about following her joy to really um, fulfill her soul's longing. She goes, uh, she touches on, uh, she had limes in the past. Um, so she, we, they touch on that. Um, and parenting and partnership. So um, just so you also know that I edit my videos <clears throat> I, at when, when I, a client gives me permission. I edit out names. So you'll hear some funny little blanks here and there. That's what that is. Um, but I also edit out um, uh, a long, longer pauses, you know, because this is for uh, your listening. <clears throat> but just so that you know, uh, it's not exactly how a real session flows. Um, and from client to client, it sessions flow differently, um, but they definitely uh, flow slower than uh, I do. When, when I'm editing a video to share with the public, um, a lot of times when somebody's under hypnosis, there can be a long pause as they're, they're receiving information <clears throat> and then uh, passing it on to me. And sometimes, you know, they, they need a moment to really ingest and grasp what they're receiving. Um, so you get the abridged version. So it makes it a little more listenable. So I um, hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave um, something down in the comments. Uh, my contact information is below. So um, contact me for your own session. I do quantum healing hypnosis sessions in person, but I also, I've continued my studies in hypnosis and I also offer them online and I find um, that that's working out really great. So. You can find me at www.innerwisdomhealingarts.org. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Look around.
and tell me what you see. What do you feel? Feel heavy. Feel heavy. Allow yourself to feel it. I feel like I'm, I see a desert. Feels like you, you're I in a desert? A de I'm in a desert. You're in a desert. And you feel heavy. It's hot. Mm hmm. The sun is bright. Mm hmm. How does your body feel? Tired. Tired. Mm hmm. Um, do you feel like you're walking? Mm hmm. So you're moving through the desert and your body feels heavy mm -hmm. and tired. Mm -hmm. Do you feel young or old? Old. Old. Does your body feel masculine or feminine? Mm -hmm. Do you have a feeling about what you're wearing? Any sense of what you're wearing? Dark clothing, dress. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything on your head? Uh huh. Can you describe it for me? Is it long and flowing, or is it like a turban? A turban. A turban's wrapped around your head. But my face, you can see my face is not wrapped. Mm. Your face is wrapped also? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's exposed. So you can see where you're going. You're feeling pretty tired. Have you been walking a long time? Are you by yourself? No, I have like two kids with me. Hmm. You have two children with you. Um, are they uh, boys or girls? What What do you have? One boy and one girl. Mm hmm. Are they your children? Yeah. Mm hmm. Do you have a husband? Mm -mm. No. So it's just you and the children. Do you know where you're heading, where you're going? Water. Towards water, okay. Do you know why you're out into the, in the desert? Do you this live? This is my life. I you live, live out there. there. Is this a regular trip that you make for water? Yeah, but there's like an urgency. Mm, okay. Is the water just for you and your children? Yeah. Okay. Is there any water normally where you live? It seems like you're, are you going out of your way? So you had to go someplace different for your water this time? Uh -huh. Okay. Something about like a man. Uh, the kids don't understand why we have to walk mm. away from everybody. I don't know why we have to walk away. But it's something about a man? Something I'm protecting them from. Oh. Are you leaving your village for good? Your community? Or is this temporary? Mm -hmm. I don't think I have a plan. 
Okay, that's okay. You just knew you had to get out. Uh huh. Okay. For some reason, you had to get out and take the children. Yeah. Okay. I know something about something that's coming, or I can see. I know I can see things unfolding, and I'm getting out before things unfold. Oh. Okay. So you're not going back. No. Okay. Have you brought anything with you? Like some sort of basket. Mm hmm. So you have a few things that you could carry. Yeah. Okay. And you're moving towards water, which in the desert would be life. Have you ever been outside of your community before like this? Yes. Okay. Secretly. Well, secretly, I have. Oh. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. So we know why you're, why you're moving, why you're here. Okay. So there's a sense of urgency. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead and move forward, move forward to your destination. So we're going to go ahead and... We're trying to get to a fishing village. It's a, a fishing We're trying village? to get to a fishing village. Okay. Yeah. Because somebody's waiting for us. Hmm. Somehow. Okay, so somehow they know you're coming. Or he does. Or maybe he doesn't even know. I just think he'll be there. Okay. What can you tell me about this man that you're... There's a man he you're... He reminds me of Craig. Oh, okay. Strong, supportive, protector. Mm hmm. You won't let anything happen to me and my kids. Okay. Are you related to this man? No. No. Okay. We love each other. Oh. But he, he's not the father of your children. Mm hmm. Okay. Do you know what happened to the father of your children? He died. Okay. But you've had a connection to this other man. Mm hmm. Somehow you've known him. Okay. Are you still walking through the desert? Mm hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave that scene and move forward to an important day. A day that you consider to be important when something is happening. So we've now moved forward. What is happening? What do you see? Mm -hmm. In the village, fishing. Okay. You've made it to to where mm -hmm. you wanted to be. We made it, and I feel lighter mm. and safe and protected. Have you? Have you found the man? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm scared that they're going to find me. Mm. There might be somebody looking for you. Yeah. Do you feel like you've done something wrong? No. Oh, okay. Definitely not. Just... Why would they be looking for you then? Would it be family that's looking for you? Other family? No, well, it's like people that were trying to, that were not treating me well and they were using me. Oh. 
Uh, are you of value to them? Yes, I think I was. I think I could see into the future. Oh, yeah. And they kept me down and feeling like I needed them to oh. survive so that I would stay. Yeah, they kept you repressed. Mm -hmm. It took a lot of courage to walk away then into the desert. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You're very courageous. Mm. Yeah. Your children are okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this man has welcomed you with open arms. Uh -huh. Oh, wonderful. He's welcomed you into his home. Mm-hmm. Good. Have you made a plan with this man? Do you feel like you need to stay put where you are, or would it be safer to move? Because you're concerned. For the time being, we're safe where we are. Okay. I feel safe with him. He will protect us. Good. Are you settling into your life there? Yes. Yeah. Feels happy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But something bad is coming. But something bad is coming? Yeah. Can you tell me what it is? You can feel it. Hmm. It's okay. Nothing can harm you. You're observing it. You can just observe what's happening. Just be the observer. They kill me. These people, they find you. Can you tell me what happened? How did they find you? I don't know, they just found me. They found you in the village. And they told me that I had to die because I knew things. Oh, you t knew too much. How did they kill you? I cut my throat. Were you alone when that happened, or were you, were your children? I think one of my kids saw it. Mm. Now whatever has happened has already happened, and you're on the other side of it. From that position, you can look back at that entire life and see it from a different perspective. And every life has a lesson and a purpose. As you look at that life, what did you learn from it? Tough. It's tough. It was hard. It was a hard life. Do you know why you chose that life and what, what you wanted to accomplish? Yeah. You just, you know, it was hard. Just be with it for a moment. Relax into it. Observe. You knew a lot in that life. You had a, you got a lot of information. Mm-hmm. And people used you. Mm -hmm. you. They used you for the the insights that you got. Mm -hmm. Feel into that. Just see if anything trickles in. 
about your purpose in that life and what you wanted to accomplish. I feel like I needed to learn a lesson to not be so trustworthy. Mm. I've certainly carried that forward. <laughs> yeah. So in the beginning, you trusted those people, and then they took advantage of you. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you can take away from that lifetime? I could see what their people, like what their motivation was, mm -hmm. and knew when it wasn't like. Like knew what was pure mm -hmm. motivation and good motivation versus something that was dark. Okay. So at some point, maybe in the beginning, their motivation was good, and that's why you trusted them. Did something. Yeah. Yeah, and then something shifted. Mhm. Mm Okay. Maybe they got greedy. Mm hmm Yeah. Some of that really wasn't your fault. So, sounds like you got out when you knew there was... Things had changed. You got out mm -hmm. when you could. So we're going to go ahead and move away from that scene and... We're going to leave that person there to continue on their own path. And you can either move forward or backward to find another appropriate time and place that has information that you need. So you are now at another time and place. What do you experience? I just want to go back on the cloud. Hmm. Okay. You want to go back on the cloud for a moment? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. That feels safe there, doesn't it? Safe mm -hmm. and comfortable. Yeah, go ahead and allow yourself to feel that safety and that comfort. Gonna allow the cloud to move and carry you. And it can carry you either forwards or backwards, wherever it needs to go. Just to see if there's any other information that you need right now. Anything else you need to see or experience? Atlantis is coming to me. Okay. What do you experience about Atlantis? Are you um, a like, male or a female? Uh, I don't know. Like, something happened there that, like, broke my soul. Broke your soul? Like it broke. It's just heartbreaking what happened. Oh. Something. Something happened in Atlantis. And I. I'm like. My soul is like really angry about how people are. I have like an anger. About um people who aren't like nice mm. and kind and that 
they're not waking up, they're, they stay stuck, like it became my mission. Mm, you were feeling really frustrated about, about their... Total frustration. Yeah. It became my obsession to wake people up. How were you trying to do that? I think that I reincarnate to help do that. Oh, okay. So not just in it in Atlantis? Like Atlantis was like the impetus oh, okay. for this mission. Okay. So you keep reincarnating to help people wake up. Yes. That it, is it, your it soul's makes purpose. Me so frustrated that people are not because like there's I want to I want there to be like heaven on earth, not mm. all this judgment and oh. So you're frustrated with how slow it's going? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel in a way that you're judging them, though, for yeah. their, your, yeah? I, I am. I, I totally am. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, I, I know. Uh, but it's like, I have, it. It's like I have this, um, I don't know, this sounds crazy. It's okay. It's like I have this bit, I have this vision of what it could be like. Mm. And I'm so frustrated that we're not there. Yeah. And that's causing, my desire to create what it could be is causing me to get angry and be judgmental. Mm hmm That's a good observation. You want it to be a certain way. Yeah. For everybody. Mm-hmm. I want everyone to feel safe and comfortable on this planet. Mm-hmm. And I'm not. I'm not even. Right. And that would... If everybody felt safe and comfortable, then you would be safe and comfortable. Does that sound right? Maybe. Okay. Is there any more about Atlantis that you can... Any more information about what happened at Atlantis? I feel like there was this big implosion. Hmm. Do you know why it happened? Egos. Mm. Egos got in the way and mm -hmm. a disaster happened. Yes. Were you involved in it or were you just observing? Observing. Mm -hmm. Trying to stop it. Futilely. Yeah. It didn't work. It's like back then, before the egos it was so pleasant and fun, peaceful, beautiful. Everybody just existed. They just, they could just be. Mm. Mm. And that's what you'd like to experience again. That's what I want to experience again. Yeah. And the closest I came was when I was doing ayahuasca, and mm. I did it. I was up in the universe. Yeah. Let's mm. let's drift away from that, from that life and that experience, and continue on your journey, knowing that that person will find peace and find what she's supposed to find. 
And now I want all the consciousness and personality of to once again return to the body and fully integrate into the body. Because we'd like to speak to the higher self. We also know that the higher self has the records of everything that has ever happened to in this lifetime and all the other lifetimes that she's ever lived. So we have great respect for this power. And we always ask for permission to speak to it and ask questions. Do I have permission to ask questions of the higher self? Yes. So I know that the higher self could have brought forth many different lifetimes to see and experience today. And you chose to bring forward her experience of Atlantis. What do you want her to know about that experience? Why did you pick that lifetime for her to see? Because she needs to know that that's why she feels this way. Mm. Does it have anything to do with her life purpose now? Yes. What is her life purpose? To be a light. To be a light? Mm -hmm. A guiding light for others? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about how angry she feels? It seems like she still has that mm -hmm. anger and frustration. Mm -hmm. Can you help her to resolve her own anger? Can you help clear that anger for her now? Or is there anything that she needs to know or do? She needs to find the little places of heaven on earth. And she needs to spend more time outside. Mm -hmm. of nature are resetting her energy. Okay. So she needs to take that time to find those little places of heaven on earth that she loves. Get outside more to help balance her energy. There must be a lifetime where she did not awaken. There was a oh, there was a lifetime that she didn't awaken. Mm -hmm. Is that the source of her anger that she didn't awaken? She's angry at herself. Right. Hmm. How is she acting that anger out towards herself? I don't know. Okay. But she's definitely projecting that anger onto other people. Okay. She's projecting the anger onto other people. So it would be helpful if she would address her own anger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, find things to enjoy in this life. When you right. mention the, the little, finding little places of heaven or yeah. places where she feels good, that's what she keeps, it sounds like, in order to help, help her to... Um, shift her anger she really has to um, find gratitude and appreciation all the time all the time so 
lot of time that I have it, but there's times that I lose it. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be a constant, everyday practice. Everyday practice of gratitude. And grounding. Grounding. But she doesn't know. She can't figure out what the secret is. What secret? Secret to feeling good every day. Oh, can you help her with that? What is there more that you can tell her? That she's halfway there by journaling and meditating every day. Okay, and she's she's doing a good job then. She's she's halfway there, you said? Yeah. Okay, that's encouraging. We want to encourage her. So she shouldn't be so hard on herself. Mm. Right. Okay. I know sometimes has um, described how she feels kind of crazy with all these emotions. Mm. Can we help her with that? Is there something else you can offer her? Some healing to help her feel? I think she needs um, I think sound is the key. Sound. 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 Mm-hmm. Like uh, um healing frequency sounds. Uh like singing bowls. Singing bowls to mm -hmm. balance her chakras. Okay. So loud that she can uh, lose herself. Mm. in the sound and let the vibration cleanse away all that she's picked up in a day. Okay. Okay. Good. That can be part of her meditation. And Reiki. And Reiki for herself, mm -hmm. but when she gives Reiki, it's healing for both. Mm-hmm. Good. So she should do more energy work. Yeah. Yeah. Keep working on herself. Sound would be really helpful. She mm. has to accept that she cannot change this reality that she's here. So you're saying she's not here to change reality? She has to accept that she's here. It's a free choice, free will, if she does it or not. But she has to first accept that she's here in this life, in this body. Oh. To be more grounded and present and accepting. Right. And live more. To just live more. Live. Have more fun. Have more fun, okay? Enjoy life. Let herself enjoy, enjoy it. it. Right. She's not really enjoyed it much. Hmm. It's been hard. Life's been hard for yeah. her. She's made it hard. She's made it hard. She's made it hard. Yeah. By setting constantly doing setting goals and oh god <laughs> she's been really demanding of herself yeah 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 well she's never really felt safe true yeah and I guess she was doing all that to try to feel safe. True. Yeah. Now that she, now that Craig is in the picture, she's safe. Oh. Oh, nice. Physically safe and cared for her children, mm -hmm. you know, but safe in her soul on this planet. These volatile emotions and people. 
mm. who are full of egos and mean and judgmental and oh. that can be hard to handle and here she is judging the judgers mm. she's judging the judgers yeah so the more she can take time to heal herself and balance her energy, the better she'll feel. Yes. Well, and it, it sounds like that practice, it, it's going to be a practice that she has to do every day, just being aware. Yes. Making it a point to find good in life. Is there anything that we can do for her ADHD? What can what can you tell her about that? Was there a purpose she has that? Is that um Yes, there's a purpose. It's a, it's a for her it's a blessing because she can hyper focus when she hyper focuses she accomplishes a lot. Mm. It's a matter of regarding that with balance. Okay. So she doesn't have to be accomplishing and hyper focusing all the time. Just occasionally. Yeah, finding that balance. Right. So it's actually really important for her to also Acknowledge it as a gift. Yes. That's a gift. Yeah. Can she help other people to acknowledge their ADHD as a gift? Yeah. That's interesting. I never thought about that. Yeah. A lot of people seem to have it, or that diagnosis at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it really could be a, a a gift instead of a curse if people know how to manage their energy. Yeah, they know how to work it. That's manage it. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a bit of a jack of all trades, and she has this longing to be a life coach. Can you guide her focus or her mission? Do you see her as a life coach? Is that a good direction for her? It's going to be a different. It's going to be a different. It's going to be different? How? It's going to be u- unique. Her coaching will be unique? Like the process, the whole process of it. So she's going to create a new process. Yes. Can you give her some guidance on creating that process? Yes, she has to start with the energy work. Okay. The sound work. Which she does every day. Okay. How she gets herself in alignment. Okay. So then it will unfold for her. Okay, yeah. She has to heal herself first. Yes. And then she can share it. We've been telling her this for so long. <laughs> And she hasn't been listening. She doesn't listen. She doesn't listen. I called her obstinate last night. (laughs) So. She's always been this way. What does she What does she do when she doesn't listen? What is her What are her defense mechanisms against listening? I I want her to hear this so that she can begin to recognize it more. She thinks that she doesn't need any help. Oh. From from anyone. From anyone, even you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She is not used to asking for help or relying on help and she has not historically in this lifetime gotten help. Oh. Her parents raised her to be independent. Yes. That was their number one goal. They proudly say it. Mm. They went to an extreme. So to accept help, to ask for help, it's not, it wasn't how she was raised. Right. That's hard for her to do. 
is um, so how can she practice that? I mean, it sounds like she needs to practice asking for help. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the times that she has, it's worked out well. Okay. So that would be helpful for her to remember. And she's here. <laughs> yes, she's here. <laughs> yes. How, how can she know when to ask for help? Is there something that happens within her that could be a signal for her to go, oh, I need to that's ask? A good question. Hmm, that's a really good question. Because we want it to be easier for her. We, we want to help her to wake up more. She has, a, she has a mission in this life. I think if she's aware, just to be aware. Okay. Just the awareness that she doesn't ask for help. Okay. Will help her. Okay. Recognize the twinge. Okay. When it happens. Good. She'll hear it more loudly. Mm-hmm. So she, she, she chose this path before she came into this lifetime. It's felt really hard for her up until then, but on one hand, I hear you saying that she's also made it harder on herself. So I just want to make sure we have clarity on her path. The ADHD is a gift. She's yes. learning how to heal and balance herself. And she's going to share that with others. Yes. Okay. So has feelings of unworthiness that pop up. Can we help her to heal more of that? Is there anything that you can do today, even energetically, to help bring healing to that? Yes. Okay. I'm working on her solar plexus. Okay. Is there anything else she needs to know about these feelings of unworthiness? Um, that they're human. They're human. It's part of being human. Right? Yeah. So when she can figure out how to beat the those feelings, that would be another thing she can teach and help. Hmm. Yeah. Because a lot of people, yeah, most people feel, have feelings of unworthiness. Yeah. S- seems to be part of the human experience. She often feels like people don't really like her, that mm. they're just pretending. like that a lot as a kid and off and on throughout my life yeah how can we help her to heal that is that part of the solar plexus that you're working on yes okay so we want to go to the root of those feelings and help her to have better connections healthier connections so she um, is sensitive to other people's emotions yes. and sometimes gets her emotions confused with other people's. Yeah. Definitely. That's why the more that's why the practice is so important every day. Mm. Clearing her energy field and Yeah. Yeah. She picks up a lot. What is the um, the gift for her as an empath? To understand where people's pain is, to try to meet them there and help them. Okay. It's good to know the gift in something so she doesn't see it as a curse. Mm. Is there anything else that you can tell her about her life coach? practice it's going to be okay it's going to be okay the more she relaxes with it the more she follows the joy follow the joy get herself feeling good right 
because she's concerned about um, what her net her message needs to be to people. How how she going to reach people? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anything else you can tell her about that right now? Because we we know she worries about it. Out. I think she's supposed to figure it out. She's supposed to figure it out. She's okay. She's close to. Okay. She's close to it. Oh, she's close. Okay. Very good. That'll that'll help her relax. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's been doing really good with her diet, I, th- I think, it sounds like. Yeah. Anything else you can tell her about what her body might need for supporting um, her health that maybe she's not doing? Um, I think magnesium. I don't know why that popped in my head. Okay, eye. magnesium. Okay, she can check into that. Just okay. continue on this path. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. It's the key. It's why she got Lyme disease. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why did she... What can you tell her about the Lyme? I forgot about that. She already knows this. Oh. She got the Lyme because she was not taking care of her body. Mm. And... It forced her. It forced... It broke her down physically. Yeah. And she had to spend... And, like a year figuring out what works for her body to feel good. Mm-hmm. If she didn't get sick, she'd still be doing the same things. Right. That makes sense. It forced her to slow down. Mm-hmm. And listen. Yep. Is it time for her to completely release the limes? Or has she already released it? She's already released it. She's already released it. Very good. Mm-hmm. That's a done deal. It is. Good. She's gotten the message then. Yes. Wow. Um, Is there anything that would be helpful for her to know about her relationship with her children and helping them to be prepared to fulfill their life journeys? The more that she grows and expands her limits, and steps more authentically into embodying her soul, then her children will follow. Mm. That sounds great. Well, it sounds like she's on her way. Mm-hmm. And her relationship is good. Anything that would be helpful for her to know there or, or she anything? Has to, she has to and stop nagging him about smoking. <laughs> stop nagging him about smoking. Okay. Um, this is his path. This is his choice. She's got to just let it go. Okay. And and her nagging him isn't going to help him let it go, is it? But it's a good relationship. Mm-hmm. She knows that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything that they can do to continue to grow together... Because as she grows, that's definitely going to influence him, even if in indirect ways. Yes. I think the more she can incorporate him into her practice. Oh. And give him Reiki. He loves it. Give him what? He loves to get Reiki. Oh, okay. Yeah. She needs to do that more. Okay. And to share with him all the ahas and whether she thinks he's understanding it or not. Mm-hmm. To share it. Right. Her relationship with her parents have gotten a lot better. Mm-hmm. Um, any additional guidance or help with that relationship? I think that a lot of healing has taken place. And will continue to. The more she shows up as as herself. Mm-hmm. Be authentic. Right. Yeah. So she also has a desire for um, other closer relationships. It it sounds like that's probably the same message. Yeah. Yeah. How are we doing 
on her solar plexus. Is there any other healing or are we still working on that? Root, root chakra. Root chakra, okay. I'm going to hold space for... That will help her feel safer. Yes. And more grounded. Mm-hmm. And her throat chakra. And her throat. Yes. Good. Mm. Does that feel complete? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. I'm asking the higher power to recede to where it belongs. <laughs> 